Most know him as William the Conqueror, but before earning that title, he was called William the Bastard. Born in 1027, he's the son of Duke Robert and a Falaise Tanner's daughter. At just eight, he inherits Normandy when his father dies while on a pilgrimage. Twelve years of anarchy later, William, with the King of France's aid, wins the Battle of Valles Dune and forces the rebels into submission. At 23, he marries Matilda, the daughter of the Count of Flanders, and cements his status as a feudal lord. January 1066, his cousin Edward the Confessor, King of England, dies with no successor. William believes the right should be his, but the Anglo-Saxon nobility has other ideas. They put their own champion, Harold Godwin, on the throne just two years after he'd sworn fealty to William in Normandy. The insult can't be forgiven, and the Norman noble arms his fleet, taking 8,000 men across the Channel to conquer the kingdom. Both sides finally clash in open warfare near Hastings on October 14, 1066. William leads his cavalry from the front, spurring his soldiers to action. During the battle, Harold takes an arrow to the eye and dies. Two months later, the Normans are in London, and on Christmas Day, William's crowned in Westminster Abbey. It's just the beginning of the invasion of England. William begins installing trusted allies to positions of power, erects castles, and bloodily suppresses any revolt. By the end of the 1070s, his power's untrammeled. Even the King of France stands in the Duke-turned-Royal's shadow. The armies of both would meet on the battlefield in 1087 as William launches his final expedition. The Conqueror's reign, though, ended as it had begun in bloodshed. William died in Rouen at the age of 60.